Now I got some dance moves, so this would be kind of interesting to see. So this here is B-Boy 1. Whoa! So he's break dancing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm super excited to unbox a brand new robotic kit. This here is the Robotis Darwin Mini. Now we've reviewed a good amount of Robotis products including the Engineer 2 kit, the GP, the Bioloid, as well as the OP3. Now this one here is actually a more of an introductionary robot. It's a very simplified version of a humanoid robot and it's quite easy to build. So if you're just getting into the robotics field, this might be a great kit to start off with. Now, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, building it, and seeing exactly what it can do, as it is a great entertainment robot. Now, with that being said, uh, if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out their link down below in the description. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so it's been a while since we actually built one of these guys, so it should be kind of fun to see. Uh, so this here is our box, so this here is the Robotis Mini, and it is actually a miniature sized box. Uh, so you can see the Robotis Mini here on the front, kind of showcasing a pose, just like that. Uh, and then of course you can control it via an app, so you can make a dance, you can make a walk, you can do a variety of different tasks at a simple click of a button. Uh, on the back here shows what else you can do with it. So it is a modular robotic kit, so you can technically add a temperature sensor, Sensor, a PIR sensor, an LED sensor, an ultrasonic sensor, an infrared sensor, color sensor, magnetic sensor, and a DMS. So you have a good amount of variations of different things that you can do to go ahead and customize your Robotis Mini. So this here is everything that you get. Uh, so it is actually pretty simplified look. So you have your quick start guide. So this will go ahead and give you step-by-step -step directions on how to go ahead and build this, uh, program it, and how to go ahead and use it. Now there's about mm, less than 100 pages on this thing, so it's not that complicated. And then you have all these different panels, and uh, they're actually made out of nice ABS plastic, so they are quite durable. So there's the head right there. Uh, then you have a variety of different clips so that is going to go ahead and keep our robot together. You have a variation of stickers or decals, so you can go ahead and customize your robot to give it your own personal liking. You have some screws, it looks like some battery packs, modular system over here, so this will go ahead and control the robot. Uh, you have a screwdriver, back panels, you have some, uh, I think these are leg panels, or a Bluetooth sensor right over here. And then we have a good amount of servos. They're, they're, they're micro-sized servos, so that's going to be kind of interesting to see how this kind of plays out. Um, more brackets and our cables, and lastly, a tool to go ahead and pop it off, and our charging port. So not your standard robotics kit that requires an external charger to charge your robot. This works via USB-C, which is kind of nice. I think it's time to go ahead and queue up that montage and build ourselves a Robotis Mini. So our mini Darwin is finally done and it was actually pretty darn difficult. Uh, so the hardest part of it is being that it is really, really tiny and then there's a lot of different small ports that you have to actually go ahead and put these clips in and that becomes quite difficult, especially in tight spaces where you're working in really, really tiny gaps. It makes it very difficult to go ahead and place those in. Now, it's not like a screw or something where you can technically go ahead and you know put the screwdriver in there. You physically have to put your finger inside and kind of clip into place. But the overall outcome looks really cool. So this works via Bluetooth. Um, the final step of it is obviously it looks like it's lacking a little bit of a personality. You go ahead and put these stickers on. So Robotis did send these over with the actual kit. So you get these different uh, eyes, different shirts. So you have a blank slate shirt where you can technically customize yourself. You have some physical uh, gestures. So I think we're gonna go ahead and give our robot a little bit of a personality and see how he looks. We'll just go ahead and go with the blue one. Uh, 
Uh, definitely gives it a little bit of a personality, I think you could say. Uh, so we can go ahead and turn them on next by hitting this on-off button here on the back. Now this works via Bluetooth, so you can see all the servos lighting up. You see the blue uh, Bluetooth light icon blinking. That means it's ready to go ahead and pair to your phone. So this here is our app. Uh, so obviously you can connect it to the computer as well and you know use it that way. I'm gonna click search for a new robot here and we'll see robotics right there and we'll click connect and this means it's connected so if i go into ah look at him go <laughs> so if i go into button uh these are all different gestures or different controls that you can technically move uh, so you know you have like karate you have basic movements you have like rolls and dances and stuff like that so if i want him to sit <laughs> if i want him to stand we have a greet uh this is greet number two Oh, look at that. You can see the smoothness of the actual motions. Uh, the servos are quite quiet, which is actually kind of nice. You have a little wave, a uh, right hand wave. So surprisingly for something this small, it is actually quite quick. Whoa, look at that jab. So you can see like this guy actually definitely can hold a battle of his own. So you have a left hook, a right hook, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, so we do, let's go and put him back just for a second right there. Left uppercut, right uppercut. Whoa, good job. And then we'll go back standing pose. Uh, we have advanced mode. Whoa, so this is advanced. Okay, so advanced meaning like it's gonna go ahead and move forward towards the opponent. Advance, there we go. You can see like the walking gait of it is quite outdated, obviously with their uh, other robotist robots, but still pretty cool for what it is. Uh, you have a left step, you have a right step, you have a reverse, which is back. So you have your basic movements. Uh, you also have your rotation movements. You can technically move them right, move them left, and full control of that motion. And I got some dance moves, so this would be kind of interesting to see. So this here is B Boy One. Whoa! So he's break dancing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And this is B Boy Two. All right, so I think the B-Boy 2, you have to start off on the ground just like this. Whoa, look at that, headstand. <laughs> Pretty cool. And then we have a horse dance, so I believe this is a uh, Gungam style. Yep. Hey, that's the lady. Whoop, 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 whoop on Gungam style. <laughs> uh, we have a headstand, so I'm just gonna position this way. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Man, this guy's got a lot of moves. They really did refine this character quite some well. Um, and you can see the, like, the, the fluid-like movements of the motions are really nice. Uh, we have a sit up. Also, oh, it does sit up like exercise motions. One, and two, and three, and, okay, three. Not bad. Uh, we also have push-ups. Let's try push-up. Okay, we're in the push-up mode. Whoa, look at that. One, two, three. All right. <laughs> so obviously he is quite an athlete. Uh, we do have a front roll. So this here is a front roll. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> and then we have a back roll. Uh, obviously the opposite of what we just saw. Look at this guy, man. He's like a little uh, acrobat. <laughs> All right, now we have some fighting moves. So you have a block. Or soccer moves, your soccer moves, you have block, block two. So you have a left side kick, a right side kick, left kick, right kick, left attack, right attack, front attack. <laughs> so a little bit of a karate in there. Uh, that's kind of cool. You have another left attack, another right attack. Man, this guy is really cool. You have fast advance. So this will be show you the, the actual gait of itself. So watch this. Wow, that is actually pretty quick. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yep, he just keeps going. Okay, all righty, buddy. And I don't know how to override this. What's going on? <laughs> all right, back to searching for the robot. That was an epic fail. <laughs> all righty, so yeah, kind of gives you an idea what that is. Um, so stand up. There you go. All right, we're back here again. Okay, Whew, that was rough. Okay, so uh, yeah, so that was a uh, fast advance. <laughs> anyway, so moving on to gesture. So gesture is kind of interesting. So you technically use your phone to kind of control its movements. So if I just kind of show you what's happening, if I close, 
Um, and if I do like a like a jab, it'll actually do an uppercut like that. Um, and then you know I can. There's a few different motions that you can technically do. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> So that's kind of cool that you can program it that way. Uh, we also have a remote control mode. Um, so this allows us to go ahead and control the robot just like any other robot with the remote control. Uh, and you have your different attacks and your different soccer modes. Uh, so you have your soccer mode, you have your fight mode, so you can fight something as well. Um, and yeah, I mean like you can see that there's actually a good amount of motion. So they did a phenomenal job with this. Now obviously you can always go ahead and click on edit and create your very own gestures. So that's kind of neat too. So you create your own buttons. If I click on one here, I can name it whatever. So let's call this con and then motion page number. So with the motion page number, we want to go ahead and create our own motion page. So technically you create your own motion files on the computer. Now definitely the Darwin is one of my favorite robots. I think this is actually a really easy use robot that allows you to go ahead and control it and you go ahead and program it to do a variety of different tasks. You have a lot of different expansion ports. So you have all these different spots where you can mount things. Um, even the front here has a small little port for a microphone. So you can go ahead and program it uh, for voice command. So that's kind of neat. So yeah, I mean, gives you an idea exactly what this modular robotic kit is about. Now, if you are just getting into robotics or you want to learn more about robotics, I would highly recommend this particular robot just because it's a really entry price level. Uh, it definitely gives you a very unique spin-off on terms of humanoid robots as well as robotics in general. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you had any questions about the mini Darwin, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.